Welcome back to Cars and Farms today. We're slinging honey. So yesterday we went out and pulled some honey. We managed to pull seven and a half pallets. As you can see, we've already taken some out of this room here. It's what we call the comb room. It's where we store all the honeycomb. Before we take it to extract in here, they'll, all the bees will fly up to that light up there. And there's usually some boxes under there that they can all gather up in. So they're not in the honeycomb anymore, which makes it easier on us beekeepers. And so we're not getting stung as bad when we're trying to extract the honey out of the comb. I was trying to film the whole process of us actually pulling this honey out in the yards with the ass pads, running the bees out and putting it on pallets, but it was 98 degrees yesterday and I had three guys working with me and they were doing me a favor to come help me pull all this honey, so I didn't want to waste their time yesterday and get them out there getting too hot. So we got Dad here in the orange, he's feeding the uncapper. What this machine does, the frames run through that conveyor belt and under that metal shield there is a bunch of chain flails that are spinning around real fast. And what it does, it'll actually just skim the top layer of wax off the comb. So it lets the honey be able to actually come out of the frames. If you didn't take all the cappings off, the white stuff that you see there, right on top of the frames, it'll run through under here. It's getting beat up by chains right now. When it comes out the other side, you see most of the white stuff is off these frames or the caps that are capping the cells of honey. My buddy Dustin here, all he's doing is checking the frames, make sure it got most of the cappings off. He'll scrape now and then to knock off any extra cappings that didn't get cooking off and then he'll load them up in the extractor stack them in there nice and neat and we'll keep doing this until the whole extractor is absolutely slap full of frames then we'll turn the extractors on the big barrel looking things and it'll actually spin these frames real real fast and sling all the honey to the outside because honey weighs so much so centrifugal force will pull it out to the outside of this thing then it'll all run down to the bottom to a drain and drain right out the bottom but here we are moving in fast motion trying to show you the whole process and how many frames we do. Here I think we filled up maybe two extractors worth of frames, I'm not sure. So it took us from about 7.30 in the morning to about 1 o'clock in the afternoon to actually run all these frames, but we did have a lunch break in there. So you're going to see me turning the extractor on and we're going to go ahead and slow it down some and then I'll speed it up later. But here we go, we'll give it a little, a little hand start, you know, make it a little easier on the motor to get it running because these things weigh a lot. So as it starts to pick up speed here, you'll see a couple flakes of wax, a little bit of honey starts slinging to the outside. If you look on the inside of the drum here, and then all of a sudden it'll hit a certain speed and all the honey starts flowing out to the outside. Right there, just a downpour of honey. So we'll let this run for 15, 20 minutes, and then all this good honey that's getting slung out, you'll start to see it slow down. And less and less honey will be slung out to the outside, and you'll see it actually stop slinging honey. And that's when you know she's done. But here you can see all that good honey running off the side walls of this drum and right down to the center drain there. Pretty cool. Really fun to watch and it. Man, this whole room just smells great. It smells like all the fresh honey you can imagine. And this is me checking it. And as you can see, there's no more honey coming off these frames. So she's done. We'll go ahead and hit the off power switch there. And then this little lever here, it controls the brake. So you just kind of push on it and got a band that tightens up around the drum in there and it starts slowing it down. So we'll get it slowed down, then we'll start unloading the frames here. And this is normally a two-handed job, but hey, I'm doing my best here, trying to shoot it and show you guys what's going on. So I'm really making a mess of it, trying to get these frames in there. They're a tight fit for sure, and these boxes hold 10 frames, so I'm doing my best I can. But I'll show you Dad here. He's showing us really how it's done. Take two hands, you kind of slap it in there. Buddy Dustin grabs them, stacks them up on the pallet over here, and then Dad will start on the next frame. and. That box is full. Dustin will bring some more boxes in and really get some frames unloaded pretty quick doing it this way. Then when the pallet's full, we come in here with the pallet jack. You got to get your pallet jack driving license and go ahead and drive up in here. And also, a lot harder to do one-handed, I found out. But we'll get her centered up here and we'll jack it up off the ground. And then when it's adequately off the ground, we'll go ahead and get her pulled here. These things, they're not heavy, but they're not light. They're real awkward. You don't, you definitely don't want to spill them, that's for sure. Then you gotta pick all those frames back up again, but we swung her around here. Then we'll push her up into the pile with the rest of them over here. And you can see the other pallets we got done for the day. Then we'll go ahead and drop her down to the ground. And then the fun part, we start to get to clean up. This is always a major part of the cleanup is pushing all the excess honey and cappings that are on this ramp. You gotta push that all the way down the ramp to the bottom room there, where it goes into a big settling tank you'll see here in a little bit. And you wanna get all that off the ramp and let it start draining overnight. And then the fun part, hosing everything down. This is a hot water hose, so this water coming out of here is like 110 degrees, and we just spray all the sticky off everything and 
That's what we consider cleaning up. We'll go ahead and spray the floors down real good. And here's Dustin we're going ahead and moving our last pallet out. So we got to get everything out of this room to make sure we hose down every little part of it. Everything has a big floor drain, so everything we wash off kind of flows right to that drain. Here you'll see Dad, he's got an actual floor scraper because with bees, you got beeswax, and all that beeswax ends up on your shoes, and you end up really shoving it into the ground here. So as we go along, we kind of scrape it and spray it and scrape it and spray it some more, and you want this room as clean as possible at the end of the day, and there she is all cleaned up, ready to go. Extractors are empty. We'll go ahead and close these lids here. And then the most important, turn all the lights off for the day. And right here, we called it a day. Then I talked into the phone some more. Well, got all done extracting. Got 240 supers we had on, took off, swung them out. Pretty good honey. Let's go down below, check on that, and see how much we really made. We won't know till tomorrow whenever I drum it all up, but let's go downstairs and check on it. Here's where all the cappings go. They come down this slide here and fall into this, what we call the capping tank. Got a screen to keep the cappings up and then the honey will drip through. So we got a little bit of honey down here in the bottom of it. Probably a drum's worth of honey down here, bottom of that tank. And then we got this tank over here. It's about that full of honey. So we did pretty good. Maybe six or seven drums we're thinking. Won't know till tomorrow. We gotta skim the cappings off here, throw them back over here. Pump this honey from here back into this tank and then drum it up, figure all that out tomorrow. So we'll see ya tomorrow. We're back on day two, new shirt, new day, nice and fresh. So we're gonna go ahead and start pumping the honey over, over here. I'll pump this tank into that tank, into that tank, and so on and so forth. See how many drums of honey we got here. Hoping for six to seven, but we'll see. So let's get to pumping. There's a layer of honey under all this. All the capping drain off there. They've been draining overnight. Everything is settled. All the honey's down in there. So we'll get this pump started. Pull up on that switch. Pull up on the switch here. Shove that up underneath there. Perfect. Now all this is getting pumped through that pump there. Over into this paint. Good looking honey. And then all this honey here will be pumped into the tank down there with another pump. But let me go ahead and fill this one up. Stuff on top is just cappings. Pretty much wax, floating wax. And there's not really that much up there. So it doesn't really matter. Clean that up at the end. Go ahead and try some of this honey. Don't worry, I wash my hands. For all the people on the internet that are gonna freak out. Nice color, nice and clear. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. That is gallberry for sure. Well, let's get to pumping, and I'll be back. Well, the cabin tank's now pumped down. Got a little bit of honey in there. I let it resettle, kind of come back to the funnel here, turn it back on for a second, but she's pretty much done. So this is what we got. I think this tank here holds 10 barrels, so we're maybe at like 7 or 8. But now we get to pump it over. So I'm going to flip this switch here and get it flown into that bigger tank down there. tank so it can settle there all day long till this afternoon then I'll come back and put in drums but let me show you what I did I got this tank all the way drained got this one all the way drained and I took all the cappings that were on top of this and you take them over here and they're all right here so these are draining you'll get a little, a little bit more honey a couple jars worth of honey that'll sink through that and go into here and then I'll have to pump it over again and into here and over there but it won't be that much really let me go show you the final tank over here. See how full it is. What we ended up with here for our gallberry crop this year. Thinking there's six, possibly seven drums here. All pretty good looking honey. And you see this don't have nearly as much cappings on it. So that's what the honey looks like. And yes, my hands are nice and clean. So pretty good stuff, pretty light colored, pretty thick. It's 
kind of warm right now, but I'm sure it's gonna taste great. So we'll get it in a jar here this afternoon. I'll show you the final product and I'll show you me drumming it all up. Well, we're back for day three, different colored shirt again. Today, pump all this honey out into drums and to some buckets. Already did some buckets here. There's three, I think I'm doing about six of those. Already did one drum there and I got, I think I got six or seven more in here, but we'll see. This is the best part right here whenever you make honey to see what it looks like in a jar. Don't mind the little debris in there. It's all unfiltered raw honey so we have a little bit of that but look at that color that's some pretty looking gallberry so then we filled about six of these buckets and these go to restaurants and local honey packers that will pack it and resell it under a different name and i don't mind that because i need someone to sell the honey to and if they can sell it under a different name and get it out to the customers as good local honey hey more power to so them. we got another drum started here about quarter full i ain't the fastest pump in the world but it's working so this is all the honey we had pumped up yesterday. It runs through this pump here, up this tube, through a sensor that'll tell you your moisture, all the way up. And normally it'd be pumped from there up into this big holding tank. But since we only got a few drums, we're pumping it out of here. Instead of up that hose, we're going down this hose all the way around, and then into the drum. It's some nice looking honey this year, real light. And that's just gorgeous honey, and it tastes great. Let me get all this pumped up. And then we'll see how much we really made. Don't know till the very end. Well, we got it all pumped up. I got eight drums on the truck. I'm trying to load it here and film it, which was not probably my best or smartest idea, but hey, I got it done and I got a decent shot of this thing. And you gotta be real careful with these because the grapple, the way it works, it just kind of grabs around that top ring of that drum. And I've seen many a times them slip off. So me doing this one handed with about $1,500 worth of honey on the end of it is uh, probably not the smartest thing, but hey, I do it for you, so keep watching. But, head and head to the house, and I'll talk to you there. Well, if you can't tell, it's been raining on and off, so just got to the house with the honey. Looks like I got eight drums up there. One of those is empty. Did pretty good. Pretty happy with the flavor. Pretty happy with the color. We got eight drums, and then we got five gallon buckets here. Got two there and four inside the cab. I added up all the weights after taking the drums off. We made 5,220 pounds of honey this season. So, not too shabby. I'd do all the math and figure out per hive, but just know it was pretty good. So, till next time, we'll see you. Just like to say thanks to all my buddies who came out and helped me pull this and extract this this weekend. I know it's hot, tons of hard work, lots of bee stings, but I appreciate the help, really do. And thanks for D&J for letting me use your extracting room. I appreciate it, and I'll see ya.